Hello guys, today I'm going to show you the new AI tool Notebook LM to work with notes, documents, create summaries, uh, ask your documents questions, get new suggestions, ideas from basically almost any text document you can imagine if it's in PDF form or text and it's called Notebook LM by Google and I'm pretty sure it uses Google's Gemini in the background. And I think it's a, yeah, like a product that is tailored to, well, <laughs> uh, fight against the, the OpenAI's GPTs, or own GPTs. And I think it's doing a pretty good job on that. But we will get into a, a practical uh, demo in a few seconds. Right now, the tool is only available from the US or if you have an a US IP address, but if you have maybe a VPN service like NordVPN, like I do, and I'm connected to a, a VPN server in the US, um, you can actually use it no matter where you come from. So if you don't uh, have an US IP address, then I suggest you use a VPN service to get one. All right, so let's dive into, um, if we click on try the um, notebook LM you will come to this menu and there are some demonstrations like example notebooks but we will just create a new one and I am going to show you how we can use the notebook LM to make summaries, suggestions and understand scientific literature and scientific methods and methods of data science and therefore I have um, two documents um, the first one is a book, actually, and a book I highly suggest to anyone uh, who wants to become a data scientist or dealing with that topic. It's called Practical Statistics for Data Scientists by O'Reilly, and I think it's one of the best books um, for hands-down methods. And it has a lot of uh, things it covers, like exploratory data analysis, data sampling, statistical tests, um, it, it it's quite a deep dive but always with you know like uh, easy to use uh, code for python and r so this is basically a how to so like a book for for study and then i have an actual study on um, happiness and life satisfaction in advanced european countries it's a study done by peter gundelach and sven kreiner from the university of copenhagen and they looked at a survey data done in Europe where the, um, scientists measured uh, happiness and life satisfaction in a lot of European countries. So I think all in all they had around 10,000 data sets. I'm not sure somewhere was the number, but it was something like this. So a lot of people have been asked and then they have done some analysis and they present the results in this paper and we are going to use those two documents and ask questions and how do we do that in notebook lm we have the on the left pane we are able to add a source and here we can link to a document in our google drive upload a pdf or just copied text and here i'm going to use pdf and for every source you can the source can have up to 200,000 words per, per source and you can upload up to 20 sources. So that means all in all 4 million words, which is quite a lot. So usually even a whole book will not exceed the 200,000 words. So that means, well, you can upload almost 20 books, you know, and ask questions about those. So if you want to deal with like meeting protocols, summaries, board meetings, or even transcriptions from videos, whatever. This will work fine. Okay, so it's enough uh, uh, text you can upload. All right, so let's um, upload the two sources, um, the article and the book. And then we we'll, I will show you how you can work with your sources. So this is the article, the study on... Um, on the happiness in the European countries. And the first thing that Notebook LM will do will create a summary, which is also pretty nice, like a short summary, what has been done. Happiness in both European countries depends on personal country factors, yada, 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 and like a quick summary. And um, 
here are also some suggestions you know what are different factors that include happiness and life satisfaction according to the article but i will ask something like um well could you please give me like a glossary of the key terms in this document in this study related to happiness so i'm basically talking with my document asking questions um trying to get some insight and this is something you also can do with like chat gpt or your own gpts um, but i think here it works better even so we will get like um, the key terms and i checked them i read the article beforehand and it's it's pretty accurate so we have happiness we have life satisfaction here it's only called satisfaction but it should be life satisfaction then the study is dealing also with social capital well-being economic cultural factors um so that's pretty nice okay so we'll have okay these are like the key terms um that are dealt with in the document and what is very interesting and nice i think is that you can actually check where um is the source of these points you know like how can the difference between happiness and satisfaction be perceived argue that his response da, 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 da. and this is something that was usually missing in in, in gpt's in chat gpt um, I can get the summary there and I can get some key points, but it's hard to figure out where the content actually comes from. So, um, and here we get an idea. And yeah, and maybe our task or my task would be to, yeah, make a literature review of like, I don't know, 20, 30 studies. So um, you would read all of them, you would make notes, and this will, yeah, basically help you do that much, much faster. And of course, you have to check for accuracy. It's not always 100% correct and it does some minor errors, but um, so far I checked like maybe 10 documents so far on, on scientific literature and it was pretty, pretty accurate. Um, more accurate than myself maybe or some students actually. And we can then uh, pin this note. So we have saved this in our uh, notebook. So if we are like doing like a long-term project, reading literature over weeks and days um, and collecting like summaries, collecting like ideas and notes. This is a very easy way to do, okay? Um, and yeah, we can also check maybe what the suggestion, how do happiness and satisfaction differ in their relationship with emotional climate of a culture, okay? Maybe that is our research question or we are interested in this and we also... Uh, surely get some some interesting results uh, let's check happiness is a distinct but related concept and this is correct i've checked this many times and this is exactly like the message we get here that happiness and satisfaction are somewhat distinct constructs but they are related to one another um, okay so this is pretty good and let's just uh, uh, for the demo um, pin those notes as well yeah let's check our second document which is the data science book um, and maybe we have an idea um, we want to um, yeah measure if there is a group difference in let's say i don't know do countries differ in their life satisfaction on average in their happiness or are cultural groups do they differ and you heard that there is something called like an ANOVA like this is a statistical test but you have no idea what it is and your teacher said, yeah, you can do a ANOVA test in like, I can do what? Um, so, of course, you can uh, put in the work and read the book, <laughs> which I would recommend. But uh, now you can ask maybe a notebook LM and ask it, uh, can you just quickly tell me when exactly do I perform an ANOVA test? And let's just first quickly check the book. And here's a whole section on ANOVA. And here we can see that if we have more than two groups where we could do an A-B test, which is usually a T-test, uh, but we have more groups like A, B, C, D, whatever, and we want to check if one variable, if the mean in those groups significant, significantly differs, then we would perform this ANOVA test. There's an example right here. Let's say you have four web page designs which are all different, like different colors, whatever. And you measure like the click numbers each day. And you average them out and you want to know if there is one page design that is significantly better performing than the others. 
And that doesn't mean it's just a little bit higher, but we are interested in really like, is there a significant difference? So is, is there really an effect on the page of the page design on the click numbers? Let's say this is our goal. So, and you, you've been told by the teacher, yeah, you can do this ANOVA thing and you, but you have no clue what it is. And let's just ask notebook, um, LM based on this document, based on this whole book, um, what it is. So the ANOVA test is performed to analyze the results of an experiment with multiple groups. This is exactly correct. And it's an extension of similar procedures used in AB testing, just as we read in the book. Okay, so this is pretty nice, pretty accurate. Thank you very much. Um, and now we can also use um, the, our whole sources, like the book with the theory, with the how-to and our um, article. So let's say um, we have a new idea, um, a new hypothesis, we think that countries somehow differ in happiness. So uh, we think that we could perform this so-called ANOVA test, um, but we're not really sure if this works or if this is the right approach. So I will ask if I have a group variable, say country, how would I uh, perform an ANOVA on happiness? So this relates both to the study and to the book with the theory or with the methods behind it. And also, here the, the AI tool notebook um, LM will try to answer the question based on a large uh, language model, Google's Gemini, and it will come up with this. Let's check it out. And now we can determine whether there are significant differences in happiness levels between different countries. Exactly. This is what we want to do. Um, blah, blah, blah. We need country as a group error. Correct. You would have need data on happiness levels. Okay. For individual from different countries. Okay, so it also gives you like the, the constraints you, you need to have. You need to have um, data on happiness for individuals from different countries. So this is also like a sanity check. If you don't have that, oh, where did it go? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, no, we have to do it again. Awesome. <laughs> it disappeared. Okay, then, ah, here it is. Um, I just close it somehow. And so the steps will be calculate the mean happiness level for each country, calculate the overall mean for happiness. Okay, this is here. Uh, the variance, F and so on. Okay, but this is basically how you would do it. So if a, a student would ask me, I would more or less give the same answer. You need like um, data points from individuals in different countries. So you can calculate an actual mean of happiness and then you can use those means for different countries as a group variable and perform this ANOVA. So that's pretty nice, okay? And, you know, um, and if we select our notes, these are the notes we have taken from our documents, we could also create suggestions, you know, like suggest related ideas or create a study guide, for instance, you know? Like maybe this would be a nice project for my students, say, oh, that could be a nice homework, you know, to, to do. So create a study guide. You know, um, what would you do like in, in doing an ANOVA, like this statistical tests? How would they do uh, have to go on to, to get the data? And central question to review study guide, what is an ANOVA? How do you perform it? Oh, that's nice. Okay, and these are in fact concepts you really need to know, like what is a group variable, what does it mean? What is variance? What are p-values, correct? So I think this is a pretty, pretty good tool um, to work with your notes to, to yeah, basically do knowledge management or to come up with new ideas or suggestions. So I think this is a very interesting competition for uh, OpenAI's own GPTs. So let's see where it goes. Um, just check it out on notebooklm.google.com or just notebooklm.google. Like I said, if you don't have an USIP, use a VPN and you can use it and well, have fun guys. <laughs>